In this video, I am going to explore the applications of this thermoelectric device called Peltier module. It has various practical applications, especially at home, and some of these are portable coolers or mini fridges. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet and click that notification bell. My first encounter with Peltier module was when I reviewed this mini dehumidifier. It uses Peltier module as its main component in dehumidifying our homes. A Peltier module is a semiconductor device that has a filthy effect. If you want to know more about filthy effect, there are several videos on YouTube about filthy effect. I can recommend this channel, Drone Boat Workshop, which has an extensive discussion about filthy effect and this device. A Peltier module is made of ceramics, uh, this one. That is, or that sandwich, like a wafer, semiconductor devices in between. So, sa gitna nito, merong uh, semiconductors. Kung mapapansin nyo, tingnan nyo na mabuti. The outer sides are the ceramics. Then, sa gitna nito, yun na ang semiconductors. When you apply current on the normal connection, the positive uh, supply to the positive terminal and the negative supply of the power supply to the negative terminal here, this side's grid markings will cool down to even under 0 degrees Celsius, while the other side, tungulang marka, will heat up. If you reverse the terminal, let's say you put the positive uh, terminal from the power supply here and the negative power supply to this uh, wire here. This side with markings will be the hot side or will become the hot side while the other side will become the cool side. So this characteristic is called Peltier effect, named after its discoverer. John Charles Peltier in 1834 and this device is called thermoelectric device. These Peltier modules that I bought are branded ID10. This is the TEC 1-12706 Peltier module. The TE here in the code means thermoelectric while the C means standard size. If it's letter S it means small. The number one means the number of layers in the device, 127 refers to the number of semiconductor couples, the P and N junctions, while 06 is the maximum operating current in amperes of the device. Aside from the Pilti module, I need other things for these projects. Foremost next to the Pilti module is this heat sink which dissipate the heat produced by the hot plate of the module. This set um, this heat sink is a recycled one I've salvaged from my old PC or personal computer. This is used to cool down Intel Pentium 4 chipset of my old PC. This is uh, aluminum with uh, fins and its size is just enough to accommodate two Peltier modules. Attached to this heat sink is an exhaust fan which is responsible in blowing away the heat absorbed by the sink from the hot plate. This is part of the combo with the sink in cooling down the Intel chip of my old PC. It's a 12 volt uh, DC fan. This portable digital thermometer will measure the cold temperature of the mini fridge through its probe that will be exposed inside the cold van. This thermometer is powered by uh, two button batteries, each with 1.5 volts, so a total of 3 volts. And this can measure from negative 50 degrees Celsius up to 110 degrees Celsius. It has plus minus 1 degree tolerance. It means if the reading is 10, it is possibly 9.9 .9 or 10.1 degrees in actual temperature. So that's negligible. I also need uh, a couple of materials uh, for this project like uh, this thermal paste, the supply input jack, and a 
a 3 ampere power supply is used. I already made a base made of uh, 3 fourth of an inch thick uh, plywood where I should place the components. I can put the sink here and the uh, filthy module will be here. This is the uh, underside of the uh, cooling unit. Uh, this will be uh, facing to the Coolman uh, cooler. Okay, and I can put the thermometer here. Okay, I can put the power input jack here. So that's complete. This this wood base um, would fit um, into the top of the Coolman here. I can just insert the plywood um, to the slots of the top side here. Okay. So the filter cooler unit is uh, removable. Once everything is uh, frozen or cooled, I can remove the cooler unit and close this cool man to seal it. So pagkatapos ko mapalamig ang laman ng uh, Coolman, I can just remove the unit and close it. I will put the module near the edge of the sink so that I still have uh, extra space here for another module in case I need to add a second module. Remember the side with marking should face upwards since this is the cool side while the hot side will be the one to be attached to the sink. I am going to put a moderate amount of thermal paste, enough for the size of the Peltier module. The paste is not only uh, joining the hot side and the sink, it will also hasten the transfer of the heat from the module to the sink for the fan to blow away the heat. Um, it eliminates the air gap between the sink and the plate. This thermal paste has a conductivity of 4.5 watts per meter by kelvin this is still within the recommended 3 to 8 mwk or 8 wmk rather we'll put some uh, just a little uh, moderate amount would do not too many not too small because once we press this to the sink it will scatter Since the Peltier module and the fan are to be supplied by 12 volts of DC voltage, then I only need one power supply. I am using a 3 ampere uh, adapter. Then all the supply lines are connected to the power input jack. This is the terminal from for the PLT module and this is also the terminal for the fan so this is where we uh, insert the power supply here okay let's do some experiments first okay so let's plug in Oh, it goes up. So let's check the. Heat sink. The heat sink is thirty-five degrees. I'll put a glass of water. This is one hundred twenty ml. Let's try. And lagay natin tong temporary natin na setup just to test our mini fridge <laughs> okay we good now 
The temperature is 32.5 going down. Nasa 32.4. Okay, after more than 30 minutes, it only manages to reduce the temperature inside the coolant to 31.5. Tingnan nga natin ang loob. Wala, hindi siya malamig yung loob. Pero, kung titingnan natin yung filter module, nag ice na siya. You see that? So, we just need um, a material that could help trans transfer the could help transfer the cold from the PLT module to inside of the the, the cool man. So, ang gagawin ko ay um, kailangan natin na matransfer yung cold mula sa cold side ng um, PLT module. So, ginawa ko, nilagyan ko ito ng heat sink na aluminum water cooling. Um, this is designed for talaga sa PLT uh, cooler. So, ito na. Nilagyan na lang natin ng support ang uh, mga components natin kasi uh, it's so hard to uh, uh, control. So, ito na nangyari. May motor na tayo. Ang motor na walang support. So, ang mangyayari nito, itong hose nito ay uh, mag-submerge sa tubig. So, ang motor, hihigupin niya yung tubig. Then, pagkatapos, ilabas niya dito, dadaan siya dito sa water cooling block na nakadikit doon sa cool side ng PLT module. So, lalamig ito siya. So, in other words, lahat ng tubig na papasok dito, lalamig siya sa positive. Then, paglabas niya dito, babalik doon sa tubig. So, ultimately, yung tubig doon, lalamig na rin siya. Then, uh, we expect na yung ilalagay natin na tubig doon, isang uh, lag, lalagay na tubig, lalamig din siya. Okay? So, try lang natin kung ano mayayari. Okay? Then yung thermometer by the way, yung probe niya ay aabot din hanggang dulo, hanggang dulo sa tubig. Naka-submerge din siya. Okay. Try natin. Ito na. Tingnan nga natin tubig. Ito yung tubig. Tingnan natin. Makikita natin. Temperature is 27 na. Mula sa 29 na... Temperature ng tubig doon sa loob. Medyo mainit yung uh, ano natin, um, power supply. Kasi 3 amperes nang to siya. Dapat gagamitin natin is 5 amperes. Kasi ito, meron na siyang motor, meron pa siyang uh, exhaust fan, plus yung PLTA module pa. So after an hour, the lowest temperature that it has reached is only about 23.1 degrees centigrade so we'll stop now now um, we'll check kailangan natin itouch kung anong resulta medyo malamig ang tubig this one hindi masyado hindi malamig okay o nangyari kasi Dumaan pa dito sa ginawa natin na nilagay natin na water cooling uh, block. Nakadikit siya. Then yung tubig, nabali nag-circulate uh, yung tubig. Then mabilis yung tubig, daloy ng tubig. So yung uh, flow ng tubig is mabilis. So pagdating, pagdaan dito, hindi siya malamig agad ang tubig kasi uh, mabilis eh. The other way na matransfer natin ang lamig ng ang cold mula sa PLT module is yung gagamit tayo dito ng isang isa pang uh, exhaust fan para yung lamig ihigupin niya papunta doon sa loob ng bucket. Um, pwede natin gawin yun. Pero in the meantime, pwede rin ako maglagay ng isa pang ganito na isang PLT module pa at saka isang uh, block Pwede ko kong maglagay ng isang uh, module dito at saka isang water cooling uh, block then i-series na ko dito yung ano yung water cooling block so yung water medyo babagal yung takbo niya kasi dalawa na yung dadaanan niya eh dalawang ganito although 
uh, I doubt kung kakayanin ng ating power supply kasi yung power supply natin is 3 amperes lang then uh, pag magdagdag ako ng isa pang um, filthy module i-parallel ko para 12 volts pa rin di ba? pero yung current niya is bababa rin okay so ito na uh, pakita ko lang kuwakan ko lang ng motor kasi wala pa tong ano ah uh, Naglagay na ako ng uh, pangalawang uh, PLTA module at saka second uh, ano din, uh, water cooling block. Okay? So, nakita nyo, mula sa motor, mula dito sa, sa bucket, papunta motor, then yung pump, papunta rito, papasok sa first na water cooling uh, block, then yung, yung out na first block, papunta sa second block, then lalabas dito, babalik doon sa bucket. So nag ano umiikot lang yung tubig, okay? So titingnan natin kung madali na ba tayo mapalamig ng tubig. Okay? Kanina umabot tayo ng 1 hour pero nasa 24 lang 'yun, di ba? So titingnan natin dalawa na 'to. But um I'm not sure kung ano ha. Um kaya ni nang ating power supply kasi 3 amperes na yung power supply natin. The ideal is uh, 5 amperes, okay? Or 7 amperes. Five amperes is can can do can do the job already. Okay, so let's start. Makita mo 29.2, 29.3 yung uh, uh, temperature ng tubig na nasa loob na nilagay natin. Mas mababa talaga yung tubig kesa ambient temperature. The ambient temperature now is 33 degrees. Okay, so talaga may, may ano siya. Okay, let's start. Narinig mo na rin na ano, dumadalo yung tubig, okay? Close up natin na kunti. Ay, ay. Pumutok yung ano ko, power supply. Pumutok yung fuse ng power supply natin. So, papalitan ko lang. So, gumamit muna ako ng ibang power supply. This time, this is a 6 ampere power supply. Pero, di ko na muna ginamit yung isang uh, PLT module. Kita nyo, tinanggal ko muna. Kasi, uh, baka mawala na ako ng power supply. <laughs> okay? Try natin. So, the same configuration. The temperature here is 29.3 to 29.4. Let's see. So after about an hour, yung temperature niya is nasa 27 point something lang. Compared natin to sa una nating test na meron lang isang uh, module at isang uh, water cooling block. Mas maganda yun kasi umabot yun na 23.1 or 0.2. So mas malamig yun kesa nito. Although ito kasi marami pa siyang tubig. At saka dumaan pa siya sa isang uh, uh, water cooling block na nakadikit sa isang filter module niya. Then ito isang filter module hindi natin ginamit kasi tulang tayo ng power supply. Okay? So siguro tang tanggalin ko muna tong filter module para hindi affected yung performance ng isang module yung nagpa-function at saka yung uh, tank. Isa, isa lang, titingnan natin kung ang, ano ang uh, nangyari so I think pareho lang ya, siguro siguro hanap tayo ng ano, uh, mag, gagawa lang ako ng uh, maghanap ko ng fan para ilagay natin doon sa loob so itry na naman natin yung merong fan instead na tubig ang gagamitin as cooling uh, system ang gagamitin natin is fan ito na <laughs> okay as you can see, there's an uh, exhaust fan here. So, yung lamig ng uh, PLTA module ay uh, higupin lang fan na ito. And uh, I put the water cooling block still on the PLTA module para madali yung madissipate yung cold at saka ma-absorb, ma uh, blow, blow away by this uh, exhaust fan. So, as you can see, Almost all possible uh, exposed wood near to the Piltier module um, have been uh, covered by this uh, roof insulation. 
then um, this exhaust fan is only five volts. I've salvaged this from my old uh, useless <laughs> anti-mosquito lamp. So this is five volts. So sinali ko na lang yung uh, circuit board niya. Then this circuit board meron siyang dalawang LED dito at saka dito. Iilaw itong sa loob. Okay? Try nga natin. Uh, so i-plug natin. So may sarili akong uh, kable dito for the uh, ito siya so plug natin ito sa adapter you see nakita niyo umiilaw siya at saka nag wikot na rin yung ano niya try natin kung uh, anong resulta nito if it's positive, then uh, we'll continue doing like this. This is just an experiment for now. My first time to build a little cooler. So my tubig doon sa baba. Um, currently, ang uh, temperature niya ay nasa... Ang temperature ng tubig ay nasa 30 degrees. 30. So, so sometimes bababa siya. To 29 Then we'll try uh, Anong oras na ngayon? It's 10, 11.03 Tingnan natin Observe It's going down to 29.8 uh, I'm, I'm measuring the, the water The temperature of the water Because yung probe na ating temperature Ay nakalagay doon sa tubig Ang nilagay ko na filthy module, isa lang at isang uh, water cooling block na nakadikit sa pool side ng filthy module. Then, um, it's just enough with my... Ang ginamit ko actually ngayon is bago na um, power adapter. Meron pala akong 6 amperes. Hindi siya umiinit na masyado. Iinit siya pag matagal nang nag-operate. Pero okay lang. 6 amperes to eh. Then, one filthy module cannot consume over 5 amperes Then mayroon tayo isang motor Ito uh, Siguro hindi lalampas ng 5 amperes So enough lang yan yung ating 6 ampere na power supply Pag gagamitan natin ng dalawang uh, filthy module Times 2 din yung uh, current rating na power supply So from 5 or 6 to 12 or 10 amperes To be safe for let's say for every PLT module, five amperes, dapat ang power supply. It's exactly one hour have, has passed uh, since we like, start tayo dito sa ating bagong setup, and um, it's only reduced about one degree. Nagsimula tayo kanina at thirty degrees, ngayon is at twenty nine degrees. So maybe this thing is working. Uh, bigyan pa natin ng kalahati o isang oras pa so after about 2 hours nasa 28.5 lang siya so hindi maabot ng 2 degrees yung pag lower ng temperature ng tubig sa loob siguro the appropriate nito is kailangan talaga you need 2 PLT modules para mas malakas yung o mas mabilis yung pagpalamig niya sa bucket then you also double the current rating of your power supply if you have that big power supply and also bigger sink here mas malaki siya kasi uh, you need to dissipate the heat uh, faster para mababa yung ubo mababa yung temperature ng hot side the lower the temperature of the hot side the cooler the other side so, yung sa the other side naman, yung malamig, kailangan mo rin doon ng siguro mas malakas na konti ng na fan para mabilis yung mas pag-transfer ng cold to the water inside the bucket. Okay? So, ganun lang ang tsuri natin. So, since uh, wala pa tayo ng doon, wala tayong malaking sink, wala tayong malaking uh, exhaust fan, then, uh, uh, hindi pa natin, hindi tayo makaproceed so, but at least we can we were able to uh, demonstrate 
kung ano talaga ang kakailangan pag ganito na size ng uh, kulman na bucket uh, gusto mong maging uh, mini freeze <laughs> okay kasi nakikita natin ang mga video puro lang installation ng uh, the filter module itself walang actual application merong ap actual application pero maraming ginamit sila na filter modules So it's been 3 hours and the temperature is at 28.2 degrees Celsius in the Italian shell mobile sa 28.0. So we'll stop here. We already know the problem and the reason why it is not really uh, fast in reducing the temperature of the water inside the bucket. <laughs> Next na gagawin natin na experiment is this uh, useless <laughs> anti mosquito lamp okay uh, is a mosquito trap down pero hindi ito nagfa-function as its name implies okay so useless so okay, bumili nito um lalagyan ilagay natin dito yung uh, cooling unit yung uh, Peltier unit sa loob so pwede natin tanggalin to okay then ang um, original setup ito ng kanyang fan ang hangin ay papasok sa loob kasi supposedly this device ay magsasak ng lamok hihigupin niya yung lamok papunta sa loob para mamatay yung lamok pero lalamokin ka na lang wala pang walang lamok pa pumapasok sa loob <laughs> okay so binaligtad ko ang uh, fan niya instead na hihigupin niya yung ay yung ang hangin niya is papuntang loob naging papalabas siya so ganito ang itsura ang hangin papalabas dito so nang magigising siyang cool fan. Hindi ko ito tatawag yung air conditioning unit because that's, I think, impossible. So, ilagay natin ang filthy color dito sa kabilang side, sa bottom niya. Then, dito lalabas ang kanyang uh, malamig na hangin. Kung malamig na hangin. Okay? So, let's try to find out. Earlier, ang fan nito, ginamit natin sa una nating test with the cool man bucket. Okay, binali ko ulit. So ito na rin yung ginagamit ko na sa unang experiment natin na filthy module. So hindi ko yan tinanggal. So gagawin natin para hindi papasok yung init dito sa sink na masali dito sa malamig. Kailangan natin i-cordon to. <laughs> Kailangan natin insulate So ito may nag-cut out ako ng uh, roof insulator to ha. Sa, at, sa bubong ng bahay to. Okay. So ganon para at least yung init niya hindi lalabas dito dito na lang siya so this will be blown away by the fan papalabas dito okay so ganoon ang gagawin natin pero kailangan yung mga gilid-gilid dito kailangan din natin lagyan ng uh, ano pang uh, insulator para at least hindi makalusot yung init na hangin papalabas dito okay kailangan malamig lang dito so ito ang biggest challenge actually kung gagawa pa ng uh, will take a cooler because you have to separate the hot and the uh, cold temperatures yun ang mahirap kung pwede ba okay tayo yun So, let's try. Again, dalawa ang supply niya. Iba yung supply natin dito sa isang fan. Kasi yung fan dito is 5 volts lang. Tulad ang ginawa natin sa first experiment. Gagamit tayo ng adapter. 5 volts. Oh, mandar na siya. At saka, makikita mo. Umiilaw. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, umiilaw siya. So, ito na naman ang filthy. Ang ating uh, pinaka main unit. This is 12 volts. Try natin. Okay, mandar na siya. Tingnan natin. Lamig ba? Check natin ang temperature niya dito sa harap. It's only 35 degrees. Okay. Sa likod. 39.8 So, medyo <laughs> may kunting difference siya but hindi siya malamig kasi 35 eh 
So, ito yung ginawa ko kung makikita niyo dito sa loob ang dami kong nilagay na mga foam dito at saka insulator dito para lang hindi makapasok yung init na init dito dito doon sa kabilang side para so fully paglabas dito ang malamig lang na hangin although hindi, mala, ma, hindi mainit dito kasi mas mababa ang temperature dito kaysa dito but It's not so cold. Kung nakikita nyo, nag-condensate siya. This is because malamig to na side, then yung gilid niya is mainit. So, some of the heat uh, we're able to escape from our insulation. So, the result is condensation. Tingnan nyo. Thirty-six point eight. Mas maini to kesa yung filter module lang. Wala tayo ni lagay na water cooling block. Ito may water cooling block. Mas maini siya. Oh, maini. So yung lamig mula sa filter module pag na transfer doon sa cooling block hindi siya talaga nakaka-draw ng malamig na hangin. Okay? Si nag-condensate lang siya. Hindi na transfer doon sa ano fan ang uh, lamig. Okay? At least alam natin. We'll proceed to our next uh ang init. Next experiment. After about two hours, naglalaro yung temperature niya from ten point four, then umakit naman siya sa eleven point seven yon. But kung hawak ka natin tong bottle container, malamig na siya. So try natin min kung malamig ba laman. hindi siya masyadong malamig pero um, okay na rin siguro uh, ang challenge kasi natin pag gumawa tayo ng filter cooler is yung paano natin ma reduce yung uh, temperature sa hot side kasi pag again sinasabi ko palagi pag mababa yung mapababa natin yung uh, temperature sa hot side then lalong bababa din yung uh, temperature sa cool side. So, mal mas malamig siya. Yun ang challenge natin. Problema lang kasi is how to separate the hot and the uh, uh, cold temperatures sa filter module. Nakikita nyo naman, manipisan siya. So, mahirap yan uh, i-separate pag maglagay tayo ng insulator in between uh, sa sink natin, between the sink up for the, hot, the heat sink and the sink for the cold. Yan. Kunti lang talaga ang gap niyan para uh, masiparate natin silang dalawa. Out of this uh, concept, pwede na rin tayong gumawa ng uh, portable tabletop na uh, coolers para sa ating drinks. Yung, siya masyado malamig. Siguro to maintain the, the, the coolness of our drinks, pwede tayo gumawa ng ganon. Lakihan na lang yung uh, sink, yung heat sink at saka yung uh, plate niya for the cold side para uh, mas efficient siya. Although, hindi tayo completely nagagawa ng uh, PLT cooler, but we were able to prove the requirements to build a PLT cooler. In the coming days, I will build a working unit and I will share it here. Click that notification bell after you subscribe to this channel so that you will be notified of any upcoming video. Dagan salamat ako si Jun Tariman. Hi Tech! Bye!